City and religious leaders say they're encouraging solutions amid this violent weekend. As CBS 4's Aaliyah Blackburn reports, those leaders reflected today on Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy of peace, progress, and unity. Right now, the city stands at 11 homicides just two weeks into 2022, following a weekend of violence. Our prayers and our, and, and our hope that um, uh, these kinds of tragedies can be avoided and stopped altogether. Mayor Joe Hogsett says he's already working to address solutions. We're in the process of implementing uh, what I hope will be a transformative three-year commitment uh, for greater public safety and uh, greater public health. Not as the primary. During a tour of improvements at Watkins Park Family Center, the mayor shared he's looking forward to seeing the results from about $420 million worth of American Rescue Plan funds. We've been following that money for months to see how it will support IMPD and anti-violence efforts across the city. We have uh, taken uh, all of you around to several different uh, community and neighborhood organizations that are doing crime and, and, uh, and gun violence reduction work. And I think over time, uh, hopefully we'll see progress being made. God, give us strength. Yeah, it really does take all of us. God, give us power. Meanwhile, religious leaders are calling on communities to band together. Alex Diaz, Midtown campus pastor with Traders Point Christian Church, helped organize a morning prayer walk in honor of Dr. King downtown today. And God, we believe that it's only by your spirit. Just like Dr. King did, we want to be able to do this in peace, in unity, in love, in reconciliation. Coming off a violent weekend in the city, Diaz says it's a message that comes right on time. We would be uh, really standing on the wrong side of this if we were uh, fighting violence with violence. That's not what we want to do. Working together to keep the peace in the city. In Indianapolis, Aaliyah Blackburn, CBS 4 News. Aaliyah, thank you. After